let's have a look at the color names for HTML and I've already set up some code here this is style uh, it's just for the body section there we go the body and I just want to do uh, the background color I've changed it to white that's a named color um, instead of white I can use like red um, blue or the name of any other color and there's some quite exotic color names as well you can use like deep pink this is what it looks like there you go there's deep pink and if you want to know all these exotic color names here's a page from Wikipedia I have seen this thing like Indian red lawn green sea green deep pink was there or pink so you can easily go into Wikipedia and type in web colors and you get up that page let me change this back to white that's fairly straightforward that's uh, color names the second type of colors you can have are RGB ones let's set this one up for the H1 heading H1 curly brackets and we change the color colon and RGB and that stands for red green blue so three positions and then you need a pair of round brackets and you've got a semicolon as well just to end the line and for the RGB colors they go from zero to 255 with 255 being the highest color so if you wanted to switch red full on when you type in 255 in the first position if you wanted to switch off the green and type in zero and for the blue let's have say 100 let me save that and be refreshing the browser there we go a reddish kind of heading for that one that's RGB and for RGB as well as RGBA is not available in all browsers which most modern browsers should support it and all that entails is putting an A after that and the A stands for alpha and it's a value from 0 to 1 if you type in 0 0.2 that's fairly transparent and if it was 0.9 it will be going back to a more solid color let me set up a pseudo style for this let's call it alpha there you go. let me add a copy and paste this one and let's add the class there class equals alpha save that one let me switch that back to 0.2 doesn't make it transparent well, let's have a look in a browser and there we go fairly transparent head in there the third type of color value you can have is the hexadecimal value hexadecimal values again use red green and blue components but this time split into three groups of two let me set up another heading as an example I'll put H1, let's call it hex curly brackets. And again, we'll change the color. This time, we'll have something really strange hash symbol. Let's have 0AA. Right. Let me call it. You start hexadecimal colors with the hash pound symbol, that one. And then the first two values are for the red component. I'll explain about the letters shortly. The next two are for the green component, that's green. And the final two are for the blue component. So what do the letters mean? Well, when we count normally we use base 10, which is what we use for the RGB ones. Hexadecimal is something called base 16. But base 16 we again count from 0 to 9 but this time we add 6 letters after the after the number 9 add the letters A to F A is 10 B is 11 in fact let me type that one out let me add some comments so the browser will ignore all this so A is 10 B equals 11 C equals 12 D equals 13 E 
8 equals 14 x equals 15 and the letters FF they have a decimal value of 255 this is the largest value you can have for HTML color to illustrate that, I'll show you why a hexadecimal value of FF equates to an RGB value of 255 so if you were doing it in base 10 you'd have say a hundreds column and then you'd have a tens column and then you'd have singles and 255 in the decimal system means two in a hundreds column it's going up there and five in the tens column and five in the singles column two multiplied by 100 200 five multiplied by 10 50 and five singles make it 255 in base 16 we have a singles column and a 16 column so 16 and the singles column and 255 is F in the 16th column and F in the singles column what this means is multiply 16 by F which is 15 and that gets 240 and 15 in the singles column so 240 plus 15 is 255 if we do the A, A, so it's A in a 16th column, A in a singles column, A equals 10, so it's 10 multiplied by 16, 160, and 10 singles, 170. So A, A hexadecimal is 170 decimal. Now you don't need to know how to convert base 16 to base 10 to use hex colors, but it's nice to know what these values mean. Let me go back up here. So we can see what that colour looks like. And then we'll copy and paste this one again. Copy and paste. Oops, that's X. Oops. X. If we save that and refresh in the browser. There we go, it's got pink colour again. Go back to the Wikipedia page. You can see for these colours, let's pick Indian red. We've got the hexadecimal there, so it's CD for the red, 5C for the green, and 5C for the blue. And again, you've got the RGB colour right next to it 205 for red, 92 for green, and 92 for blue. And there we go, that's colour values in HTML.